and stability in the region. Why is one man spared while another taken? To this day, I couldn't give you an answer. But death comes for us all, eventually. When you lose over 6,000 men in four hours, it's easy for one death to become just another number. But all I knew was my best friend was gone, and that part of me wished I had been taken instead. The dead, and they've settled their debts. It's up to the living to pick up the tab. And so it is time to say farewell to Private William Robert Irons, a man I had the privilege and honor to have under my command. A life is only important in proportion to its impact on the lives of others. By this standard, Private Irons ranks among one of our very best. He leaves behind family, friends, fellow Marines, and a grateful nation. Sorry, Mitchell. Will was one of our best. Look, we take care of our own. If you ever need any... Excuse me, Private Mitchell. I'm Jonathan Irons. I'm Will's father. Mr. Irons, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. I'm sure you are, Sergeant. Private Mitchell, you were Will's best friend. You both paid too high a price for your country. It was an unfortunate tragedy, sir. It was more than unfortunate, Sergeant. It was unnecessary. Son... I want to offer you a second chance. Mr. Irons, Mitchell's been discharged with his injuries. I'm aware of his injuries, Sergeant. At Atlas, we have prosthetics that are 20 years beyond anything the military could offer you. Will told me what kind of soldier you were. You deserve to fight for a military that's as effective as you are. Think about it. Don't let Will's death be in vain. Sergeant. Two on the terrace. Check that. Three. They spotted us. Drop it. Tracking POTUS. Media room, south wing. Copy, Prophet. We're internal. 
Mitchell, toss a threat grenade. Charge ready. Go clear. Mr. President, we're an Atlas rescue force. 